Scotland's Tom Evans had it all. Good looking, former pop star, this talented all-round athlete had represented both club and country alongside brother Max. But on February the 13th this year, playing against Wales at the Millennium Stadium, a moment of horror would change Tom's life. I was uh, wrestling for the ball and just got an elbow to the lip um, and it just kind of split me open uh, there and then. So there was a lot of blood obviously streaming from my lip and James obviously pulled me off and uh, to go and get stitched up. Um, and I was only off the pitch for like 10 minutes and I remember hearing this like massive cheer and thinking that Wales had scored, but it was actually Max who'd come on in my replacement uh, and scored a try. So I felt quite bad obviously when I'd been stitched up and I came back out and he you know, came off the field for me and after scoring like a, a good try. So um, that was slightly strange, but yeah, like, you know, I, I got straight back into it. Uh, we were still leading, we, we had a quite comfortable lead at, at that stage. And then obviously the, the accident occurred I kind of ducked my head uh, due to my lip, um, obviously because it was in quite a bad state and that was probably obviously the, the reason for, for what happened. I just remember going into the collision and spilling the ball and my, my mind wanting to reach out and, and grab the ball and obviously secure it, but obviously my body just not responding in any way possible and you know it was uh, very scary times and I just remember James Robson again just telling me to stay still and try not to move and like I said you know like it paid massive dividends and uh, you know I, I owe him my life. Tom was given expert medical attention on the pitch and off the field his mother Sally a nurse was among those on hand to help. Once he'd arrived at Cardiff Hospital the severity of his spinal injury soon became apparent. After a three-hour operation and the dedicated efforts of the hospital staff Tom's recovery from an injury that could have caused permanent paralysis has been little short of miraculous. Yeah, I was a bit like Robocop for a, for a while, but um, I, I guess I was up uh, walking after three weeks, which was great, you know, if you think about it, you know, it's such a quick turnaround. Um, you know, modern day science is, is truly amazing. Although Tom's regained his strength and made a full recovery, He's mindful of the physical demands of the modern game and announced his retirement last month. But if one career path has closed, several others have opened up for this multi-talented young man. Well, the golf, obviously, um, being, being blessed with being brought up in, in Portugal and my dad obviously being a professional golfer, so um, it's always kind of been in our doorstep. And uh, my brother's obviously a qualified professional, um, even though I I'd put my money on to, to beat him in a one-on-one, -on -one, but <laughs> he probably wouldn't like that. But um, no, like I said, it's always been on our doorstep, so I've always yeah, been a keen golfer. And you know, obviously the the acting, um, something I haven't had too much experience on, but you know, I've always um, been a bit of a, a showman, like um, uh, and you know, loved obviously my movies and just getting involved in in, in the side of acting. Despite his injury, his blistering speed remains unaffected and he's been working with one of the leading coaches in British athletics as he continues to get his life back on track. I love running fast and I love you know, the buzz it gives me and obviously training with Margaret Wells you know, has helped me massively in terms of my, my physical shape and um, you know, that, that makes me feel good you know, knowing that I'm in shape and, and, and training. And, it's been great, you know, being on the track and, and feeling like I've had you know, like a real goal uh, in my life, which has helped me a lot. He trains exceptionally well. He trains very, very hard. He's very committed to whatever it does. So whatever he chooses to do, he will give 100%. Above all, Tom has retained his love for the game and remains a passionate advocate of rugby as a sport for all. I know I've a few parents parents maybe watching this thinking, oh, you know, I don't want my children, um, you know, playing a sport that, you know, can, in, you know, entail such, such a kind of injury. But, you know, it's, it's like in any sport you do, there's always that chance for a freak accident. And if I have kids, there, there's no way I'll hold them back from, from playing the game of rugby. You know, to me, it's, it's the, it still is the best game in the world.